a hotly debated question right now, cash out refinance or HELOC, which one should you choose? I'm gonna break both of them down so you can decide what's the best thing for you to do. Let's hop right into this video. Now with a cash out refinance, I'm just going to focus on the pros for the cash out refi. And then I'm going to focus on the pros for the HELOC. We're not talking about cons today, strictly pros. So you guys can decide what's the best for you. Essentially on a cash out refinance, one of the first pros that we want to talk about is typically you can get a larger loan amount on a cash out refi. So the amount that you can pull out is going to be based on your loan to value of your property. Now, how a lender calculates your loan to value is essentially your principal balance of what's currently owed on your house. And you divide that by your property value that gives you your current loan to value. Now, most lenders will let you cash out up to about 80% or so. And most of you probably will never want to go past that point unless you have a VA loan and you have no mortgage insurance, because once you get past the 80%, you're going to be paying some sort of mortgage insurance on your home. Now, if you can cap it out at the 80%, you never have to worry about that going into the future. So I would just say stick to that number. That's a safe number to, to roughly calculate how much cash you could get minus your closing costs. If we took a quick example and said we owe $200,000 on our property, and let's just say the property is worth $400,000 today, 80% of 400,000. So you take 400,000 times 0.8 would give us 320,000 less our principal balance of what we currently owe of 200, you'd have $120,000 of potential equity that you could cash out on. Now, why is this a pro for a cash out refi? Because typically on a home equity line of credit, there is a maximum amount that the lender is willing to give you. When I did a HELOC on one of my properties, uh, the maximum that I found here in Las Vegas was about 100,000. However, there was some caveats to get to the 100,000. So I essentially wasn't even able to get that number that I was really looking for. And I think they capped me out at about $80,000. Um, so make sure if you go the HELOC route, you go and figure out all the details of what you're needing. Uh, and if you're looking for a lot of cash, if not cash out refi is going to be the best way for you to go about that. Number two on a cash out refi, you have longer payback periods, meaning most of you will refinance on a 30 year fixed mortgage. So you have 30 years to pay back the debt. There are shorter loan terms. So it maybe you've been paying on your house for five years or so. You could look at a 25 year loan, a 20 year loan. However, just keep in mind that the shorter the term, typically your payments are going to be slightly higher. But also remember the fact that you are taking money out of your house. So you're increasing your loan balance. More often than not, your payments will already be increasing. So if you shorten the loan term, you might be adding even more pressure upon yourself to make that mortgage payment. But that's why the strategy and options, like I stress, are always important. So that way you can see on paper how that breaks down and you can decide what's best for you. Now, why is this a pro for a cash out refi? Because conversely on a home equity line of credit, you typically get a certain period to draw against your home equity line of credit. Once that portion is up, you then have to start making fixed payments on the home equity line of credit. So the payments get amortized over a shorter period of time, which again means you pay more money if there's a balance on it. So for a lot of you that like stability, cash out refinance is the way to go simply because the payments are predictable. You know exactly what you're getting into and you have that extended period of time to then pay the debt back. The third pro of a cash out refinance is that you don't have two payments. On a HELOC, you then have to pay your first mortgage, then the HELOC payment. On a cash out refinance, there is one payment. So you don't have to worry about making another bill every single month, which I know for some of you that can get a little annoying, get a little frustrating. And trust me, when you have to keep making debt payments every month, that does become burdensome over time. So with the cash out refinance, it's just one loan. Just like when you purchase your house, you have one mortgage, make your payment to your bank. You have no issues. You don't have to worry about making a second payment whatsoever. That gives you again, the peace of mind, the stability and the predictability of what you know you have to account for going forward. The fourth pro on a cash out refinance, and I kind of touched on this already, is that it's a fixed interest rate and fixed payments on the first mortgage. Unless for some crazy reason you go choose an adjustable rate mortgage, more often than not, 
you are selecting a fixed rate payment. And again, that also coincides with the security, the stability of knowing what the payment is going to be going forward. You're not having to worry about your HELOC increasing because there's a lot of times when you do a HELOC, you're only paying on interest for the first several years. So then when it converts to a fully amortized loan, the payments are gonna jump up, which for some of you, if maybe you're on fixed income, or maybe you don't get a lot of overtime, or you don't have a side hustle, uh, adding another $200, $300 to your mortgage payment could be enough that, again, it could stress you out and it's something you don't wanna deal with. So on a cash out refinance, you select a fixed rate mortgage, you know it's a 30 year loan, you don't have to worry about that payment going up or down unless your property taxes increase or your homeowner's insurance increases as well, which could affect your monthly payment. And last but not least, on a cash out refinance, you can consolidate all your credit card debt, your car loans, any other student loan debt you may have into your house, given you have the equity to do so. Consolidating the debt into the one payment can make life a lot more simple for a lot of you out there. Again, we're eliminating the credit cards. We're eliminating the car payment, the student loan payment. And honestly, like they say, more money, more problems, because you're worrying about all these deadlines of who to pay, what to pay, how much do I pay? You can simplify your life. And if you consolidated everything into one payment into your house, that's all you got to worry about. Um, some of you love that idea and uh, some of you may not. But again, this video is about you at the end of the day. You need to know what you're comfortable with and what your financial goals are. Now, before we hop into the HELOC section, if you're still watching this video, I want you to comment below equity so we know that you have equity in your house and we're gonna break down all the pros of the HELOC side now. The first pro is the flexibility of payments. This is a big, big factor when it comes to doing a home equity line of credit because you can go to the bank today and let's say they get you approved within a week. And by the way, we are rolling out a HELOC here at Loan Depot where we will be able to complete the transaction in about seven business days. So make sure to stay tuned. And if this is something you're interested in signing up for to join our wait list, make sure to send me an email with your information and I can certainly put you on there and notify you once we roll this out to the public. This is gonna be a huge game changer for the mortgage industry. This is the first fully digital HELOC. And we're proud to be working on this right now. I can't wait to share this with you guys in the future. Now with the flexibility of the payments, like I mentioned, you can go to the bank today. They may take seven days to get your HELOC done. You walk out of there with some checks and maybe they give you a debit card to be able to charge against the HELOC, but you are not making payments until you use the HELOC. Conversely, on a cash out refinance, if we close on your refinance today, you will then have to start making payments 30 days out. So even if you sat on the cash, you still have to make payments. On a HELOC, you only make payments if you use the HELOC itself. So you have the flexibility, but not the obligation to make the payments, which is why it's a really cool feature to have a HELOC. Number two, like I mentioned, they are quick to obtain. I've gotten two HELOCs in the last several years, and I was able to close on them in about eight or nine days. Um, like I mentioned, we are rolling out one so we can close it in about seven days. On a cash out refinance, your lender might take up to 30 days. And if you rewind to when refinancing was all the craze a couple of years ago, some lenders were taking two, three, four months to close a refinance. I remember talking to my dad and he was doing a cash out refinance and it took his bank almost six months to close his loan. So if you are in a pinch and you need to get some cash quickly and your only option is through your home equity, a HELOC is gonna be a much, much faster way in order to obtain that cash. And number three, which is the most important pro of a HELOC is that it doesn't affect your first mortgage. Now, when you get a HELOC, remember, it's a second mortgage on your house. So the first mortgage stays intact. We don't touch the first. We're literally attaching a second mortgage to your property. And why that's a big advantage is because for all of you that bought or refinanced in the last several years, you got an amazing interest rate. You probably have a two or a three in front of it. And that was the lowest rates we've seen in the last 50 or so years. You don't wanna lose that interest rate unless you're making a wise decision of what you're doing with the home equity. I wouldn't rush out to go from two and a half to five and a half simply because I needed to renovate my house. 
Now, would I want to renovate my house? Sure, of course. Anybody would love to come home to a new kitchen, a new bathroom. But if you got a really low interest rate, you might want to consider keeping it the way it is and just doing a HELOC for now. Because if rates come back down at some point in the future, you can always consolidate your first mortgage and your HELOC back into one mortgage in the future. So there's a lot of flexibility, like I said, with the home equity line of credit. And for all of you that, like I said, kudos to you that bought or refied the last couple of years, you took advantage of an amazing time and I'd hate to see you lose that rate. But of course, if we have no option to refinance, then hey, it is what it is and we gotta make the best of the situation, but try to protect that as best you can. Number four, there's lower closing costs on a home equity line of credit. When you do a cash out refinance, you will be paying closing costs again. Your lender's gonna charge you fees. There's gonna be probably an appraisal fee. There's gonna be title and escrow fees. So there's all these fees that get lumped into doing a refinance, which could run several thousand dollars on a home equity line of credit. Typically you're paying an application fee, maybe an appraisal fee, depends on what the bank charges you. Like I said, when I the last time I did one, I think it cost me maybe 500 bucks and I was done in a week. So super fast, super cost efficient, um, and I didn't have to wait. So it really it just depends on, again, what are you planning to do with the funds? How fast do you need it? Why do you need it? And what type of investments are you looking for? You gotta ask yourself those questions and figure out which route is the best for you. And last but not least, you can get higher loan to values on a HELOC. Um, I did kind of touch on this on the cash out refinance side. I remember the thing that holds you back on a HELOC is that there, you probably won't get as much money that you like. However, you can go slightly higher on a loan to value. Like I told you my example, I did find a credit union that was willing to go to 100% loan to value, but there was a cap as to how much cash that I could get. Um, so actually, if I would have done a cash out refi, I would have gotten more money. But at the time when I did the deal, I wanted more flexibility because I used some of that equity to go buy some rental properties. So I used it to go buy rentals and my cash flow that I get from my rentals are paying down the HELOC at the moment. So I plan on using it again, buying more homes and just repeating the same process over and over. So there are pros for both cash out refinancing and a HELOC. You need to decide what's better for you. In fact, I'd love to hear from you and what you think is better for your situation. So comment below. Let me know which route you might be taking. And remember, if you need a second opinion anywhere in the country, send me an email. Let's chat and I'll help you out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.